And with the playing of our national anthems, Canadian and American, we're ready to start uh, tonight's hockey game between the Messina Red Raiders and Sir Robert Borden. Lenny Landrio and uh, Bobby Lozon are our two officials. Haven't seen Lenny in quite some time. I don't know if he refs as much as he used to. I don't think so. No, I, I see him once in a while. But I, come on. I think it's a change on that first line. Looks like he's moved Andy Thomas up on that right wing in place of Bobby Hart, uh, Jerry. He okay. was introduced, and he's out on the ice right now. Yep. So he'll be playing that right wing. So Andy Thomas will get his chance to uh, to play with Tyo and Levine. Right. Often it's a good uh, good position to pick up some points. Yeah, it, it certainly is. <laughs> All you got to do is be at the right place at the right time and have your stick ready. Tyo had an excellent game last he did. night. I thought, I thought he played, played well. He did. Yeah. Excellent game. Right. Here's the face-off. It'll be George Dupont. I guess he's the guy to watch from Sir Robert Borden against Tyo. Off the draw. Back to the blue line of Borden. And it comes right back to the Messina blue line. It's fired ahead by Mike Quenville. Quenville played very well yesterday as well. Now the puck back into the Messina zone. Quenville after it. Right side of the goaltender. And uh, here's a quick shot, knocked down in front as uh, Borden tries to get something going. Comes back to the point, shot, save made, the puck free in front, it's cleared, back to center ice. Incidentally, uh, we've got who in the nets for Messina? I'm sure it must be Drushy. Drushy, okay. Uh, yeah, Dave Drushy's in there, right. Now Tile with a puck in the Borden zone. Puck comes around the boards. It's picked up by DuPont. Clears it ahead. Now starts to follow it. Here comes DuPont to center ice across the red line. Hits his wing, Bilk. Bilk. Trying to fire through to DuPont. DuPont uh, can't get it. It comes back in the slot area. Now back to the point. Here's a shot from the point, And it's gloved by Derushi. He holds on. And uh, we'll have our face off. Todd Burns taking that shot from the left point. As we mentioned, uh, three defensemen on this uh, this team this evening. And they have eight forwards. So uh, we're going to see a lot of the same people a lot of the time. I think you're going to have three tired defensemen at the end of the game, Jerry. Wouldn't be a bit surprised. <laughs> Now the other defenseman, Roscoe, comes out to play with uh, Gord Cockle, who is the defenseman on the right side. And uh, it's George DuPont's line still out there. Off the faceoff, the shot taken, and that one whistles wide. Now the puck comes free around the boards as they move it along. And out to center ice it goes. Canarium after it is Canarium's line out there for the Red Raiders. The puck comes to DuPont. He circles behind his own net. Stops there, now goes back on the other side. He's being uh, forechecked by Ward. He fires it back for Cockle. Cockle clears it around the boards, up along the sideboards as the Borden tries to clear it out of their zone. Canarium keeps it in, feeds to Ratty at the point. Here's Ratty feeding it through in the slide. Ward, his shot, and the glove save made by Matt Barr, who is the goaltender for the Sir Robert Borden team. 13-36 remaining to play first period, no score. That was a good opportunity right there as Ratty saw uh, Ward over there in that uh, left wing. He put the pass right on his stick. He got the shot off. But Matt Barr in net for uh, Robert Borden doing a good job. Okay, Saunders is out there along with Blackmer. And we'll see who's taking the face off. And uh, apparently it is going to be uh, Bilk taking the face off. So already we have some changes here. I guess I wouldn't even be able to look at my lineup, will I? <laughs> Saunders with a puck in his own zone, off the boards to center ice. Hurl, but picks it up, trying to feed it back through. It goes to Hart. Hart's out there with Loran and Romeo. Here comes Romeo, or Loran rather, trying to feed it to Romeo, and Romeo couldn't get a stick on the puck. It comes back through the faceoff circle, back to the point. Quenville trying to keep it in. It's poke checked away from him, and here comes Sir Robert Borden breaking down the ice. As they have a chance here, the backhand shot, and the save is made by Dave DeRushi on the shot by Bilk. Now the puck's still free. In the Messina zone, now right in the slot. Hurlbut picks it up off the boards for Hart. Hart with it now, trying to tie it up. Now he moves it along the boards. He's still got it. Kicks it ahead. He is tied up by Bilk. The puck squirts free. It comes to Loran ahead to Hurlbut, and Hurlbut leaves for Hart. He breaks out of the zone. Long right wing pass intercepted. That pass was meant for Romeo. It was intercepted by Blackmer, and now the puck fired back into the zone. Here comes Tayo, who stepped back out on the ice. He can't get by the defenseman. The puck slides behind the net, where it's picked up by Roscoe, the defenseman. Roscoe and Tayo fighting for it. Tayo manages to poke it free, comes back up with it behind the net. Now it's taken off his stick by George Dupont, and Dupont comes down the right wing side. Turns on the Jets. He can move. Here's Dupont across the blue line in the zone, trying to circle behind the net. He fires it, hits the side of the net, and picking it up there. Here come the Messina Red Raiders, Peter Levine, breaking out the left side. Levine across the blue line. Levine taking it into the corner. Levine still has it behind the net. Levine still has it. Now he feeds it back to Sidden at the point. His shot deflected, doesn't get through. Poked back to the point again. Sidden trying to keep it in. He does. Nice play by Sidden. The puck about halfway in. It's stolen by Borden defenseman. They clear it to center ice, and here comes Dupont again. He overskates, has to come back for it at his own blue line. DuPont 
trying to feed it ahead. It goes by everybody. It was meant for Brett McNeil, but it goes past him behind the Messina net. Back there to pick it up is uh, Manley. Manley, the head man, and here comes Todd Tayo down the left wing side. He's got Thomas with him. Tayo tries to make a good move. He's taken out of the play. The puck slides uh, to the side of the net. Bar covers up, and we'll have a face-off with 11.23 left to play here. First period, no score. Burns did a good, uh, Burns did a good job at that time on uh, Tayo as Tayo uh, came through, and he uh, he sort of grabbed him uh, just a little bit, uh, brought him to the ice. No penalty. Face-off in the <laughs> Sir Robert Borden end. No score early in the first period. Off the draw, the puck comes to Cockle, tries to feed it along the boards, back to the blue line and out to center ice. Quenville has to come back to his own blue line, circles in his own zone for it. Backhand pass meant for Ratty. That's intercepted by Burns. The puck slides free. Quenville picks it up. Now over on the other side, he'll try Tad Ward. Ward has it taken off his stick by Bilk. Bilk brings it to center ice, immediately loses to Canarium. Canarium trying to feed through, and uh, Quenville made a good play to block it at the blue line. Ahead to Ratty. John Ratty across the blue line. He's being forechecked. Now Ratty. Circles around. He's still got it. Back to the point it goes. Hurlbutt. Hurlbutt winds. His shot. The save. The kick save made by Matt Barr. It goes into the corner to his right. Now back again. Here's Canarium. He takes a shot. Knocked down by a leg. And back comes Burns. Rushing down the ice for board. He's going to take a shot from center ice. The save made by DeRushi. He leaves it for Hurlbutt. Hurlbutt behind his own net. Around the boards for Ratty. Ratty breaking out on the right wing side. John Ratty for the Messina Red Raiders across the blue line. He leaves it for Canarium. It gets by him and ahead to DuPont. DuPont starts to move it down the ice. Here comes DuPont into the zone, trying to feed it through, deflected just wide, oh. as DeRushi had no idea where that puck was, and it went just wide. Borton almost drew first blood. Now it's Ratty with a puck as he tries to tie it up in the corner. He does, and we will have a face-off with no score in the hockey game. You know, that was set up by DuPont nicely. He came down in that uh, left wing. He cut toward the center. His, uh, his winger coming on the right-hand side. He threw it in front. His winger just tipped it, and it just tipped wide. DeRushi did not see that shot. Just that's tip, in. tip in, though. DuPont stays out there to face off against Loran. Off the draw, puck in the corner. Tommy Sitton picks it up. Clears it along the board, so ahead it goes. Hart. Hart taken out of the play. The puck squirts free. It's picked up by Romeo. He can't clear the zone. It's back into the corner. Sitton has to chase it down. Sitton trying to bang it ahead. He's got it. Starts to move. It's taken away from him by DuPont. Now the puck side in the net. Shot score! And Borden draws first blood. Gord Cockle gets the goal on the assist from DuPont. And this DuPont is something else. He's all over he, the ice. He is. He's, uh, like I said before, I watched him last night. He's a very impressive, uh, very impressive hockey player. So, so Robert Borden goes... Uh, uh, goes on top, a little defensive mistake right there, Jerry, and it uh, paid off for a goal for Sir Robert Borden. <laughs> so Bruce, or I should say Gord Cockle will get the goal, and George DuPont will pick up the assist. I don't know, I doubt if there'll be another I one. I don't think there'll be another assist. Now Messina's Tayo in on the off wing. Tayo stops about halfway and looks to pass. Tayo still got it. Now he feeds it behind the net for Andy Thomas. Thomas centering pass right in front. The goaltender steals it, but it's free. And it comes back to the point. It comes to Quenville. Quenville's shot off a leg. And out to center ice as Borden manages to get it. Here's Mackey with a puck. Just bangs it off the boards. It comes into the Messina zone. Big Mike Hurlbut with it. Hurlbut starts to dipsy doodle. Has it poke checked away from him. Gets it right back again. Here's Hurlbut. Hurlbut into the corner. Has trouble controlling it. Goes by the puck. It's picked up there by Ross. Roscoe. Roscoe. Can't get it out. Quenville keeps it in. Deflected. The save. The rebound. Poke checked into the corner. Quenville back again. He's going to follow it. Into the corner. Left side of the goaltender. Now takes it. Right in front. The centering pass. The shot is wide by Tile. Back to the point. Hurlbut shot. The save. The rebound. In the net. And Mike Quenville will get the goal on the rebound. He picked it right off the pad of goalie Matt Barr. And on the backhand put it in the net. Messina has tied it. That didn't take long for Messina to get that back. Just about uh, one minute, and Messina came back with a goal. The shot was taken uh, by Mike Hurlbut. The save made by Barr. The, uh, the rebound came out, and uh, Mike Quinville, uh, who was in there, puts the puck home. All tied, 1-1. George DuPont will face off against Putter Canarium. Canarium out there with Ratty and Ward. Ratty breaking in on the right side into the face-off circle, looking to pass it back to the point. He's taken out of the play by DuPont. Also in there helping out is Burns. Now DuPont has the puck, takes it behind his own net, looking to move it out. Around the boards it goes. Back to the point. Kept in Manley. His shot. Gloves saved right on the ice by Matt Barr. Eight and a half left to play here first period. We're tied at one. 
Canarium will face it off against DuPont again. Off the faceoff to Ward. Back to the point. Manley winds. His shot through his screen goes wide. Around the board. Sitton can't keep it in. It slides to center ice. And there's a foot race for it. And Manley's going to get their first little help on the interference from Ward as he kind of just skated he in took front. His, took his man. Took his man, yes. <laughs> Now back into the boarding zone. Messina just dumps it in because they want to change up. But Braddy follows it in anywhere. Anyway, it comes around the board, says uh, Casserly feeds it back. Now Hart trying to steal it. He loses to Burns. Burns behind his own net. Long left wing pass. Doesn't get out. Sidden keeps it in. Trying to pass it through. That was meant for Romeo. Goes over his stick behind the net. It's underneath, but Romeo somehow pokes it free. But DuPont's right there to take it away. Start down the left wing side. Here's DuPont trying to head man. And it's intercepted. He gets it right back. Now he's got a one on three. One on four, actually. <laughs> and he just kind of has to backhand it in the zone. And he gets upended. Now it's Tommy sitting back for the Red Raiders. He tries to get something going. Now he's going to dump it in the zone of Borden. And the goaltender leaving it for Roscoe. Roscoe behind the net for Cockle. Cockle, who has the goal in this game for Sir Robert Borden, starts out left, left wing side. He's also the captain. Now Cockle across the blue line on the right side. Dumps it behind the net. Back there's Quenville for Messina. Quenville to Romeo. Romeo can't get it out of the zone. It's kept in there. Backhand shot goes right on. DeRushi has to make a save on a bouncing puck. And Loran picks up the puck. Here comes Loran firing it ahead to the red line. Intercepted by Cockle right back into the Messina zone. Hurlbutt for Messina behind his own net. He gets by one, gets by two, starts to move it out. Poke checked away from him at the blue line by Roscoe. Roscoe trying to keep it in. He can't. It jumps over his stick. After it is Quenville. Quenville can't quite get to the puck before Saunders. And it goes back into the Messina zone. But uh, no, icing is waved off. Quenville back there for the Raiders. Head man to Andy Thomas. Thomas trying to feed it ahead to Tile. That pass intercepted by DuPont. I think I'm going to be saying that name quite a lot tonight, <laughs> Reg. And he fires it back into the Messina zone. Sitting back there, clearing along the boards from right to left. Here's Levine at the blue line. Headman for Tayo, a little bit behind him. Thomas trying to help out, least for Levine. Levine splits the defense, beating the Tayo on the right wing side. Todd into the faceoff circle, tries to center it. The pass intercepted. Now comes to Levine, he scores. Todd Tayo made that goal. Levine got the goal, but uh, I got to say, Tayo made it. Uh, back, that went back and forth a couple times between the two of them. Really, they uh, they passed the puck well on uh, on that play. I tell you, that's what they've got to do on that uh, first line. They've got to move that puck a little bit more than they've been doing there, and they did it that time, and it ended up in a in a goal. That'd be Levine from uh, Tayo. Tayo coming down the right wing. He saw Levine. Uh after getting a pass from Peter, he saw him in the slot area on the left side of the net, and he passed it, but it was blocked by the defenseman, Roscoe, and he got it back after the block right. and passed it across it again. So yep. if you don't succeed the first time, you try, try again. again, and it worked. And uh, Todd Tayo uh, continues to do the yeoman's chores for the Messina Red Raiders. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised we see him on the all-tournament team. I wouldn't be surprised. Off the face off. Well. The puck comes to Canarium. Long head man pass for Tad Ward. Ward makes a nice move. He's all by himself. Breakaway. Ward shot. Nice save by Matt Barr. Now the puck back to the point. is Sidden winds. A shot through a screen. It's in. And it's 3-1, to one, Messina. Finally, Sidden got that puck. Is it... Uh First, it was set off by Ward. Ward just walked in all alone, took the shot. The save was made by Barr. The puck came back out to Tommy Sidney. Took a quick slap shot, and it was partially screened, I think, in that shot. In the net, Messina goes ahead by a score of 3-1. to one. I'm not really sure how that puck got through because there were a whole I, maze of players right either. in front of the net. But it did, and it got through the goaltender as well, and it's 3-1 to one Messina. So uh, we may see a few more goals in this one than we did last night. Off the faceoff. We have a whistle, and uh, somebody apparently moved, and we'll do it over again. We're in the center ice area. 5.28 left to go, period one. And it's 3-1, to one, Messina Red Raiders in the lead. Off the faceoff. The puck to the Borden blue line. The poke check brings it back to the Messina blue line. And there's a big tie-up of players as uh, Mike Bilk and Mike Quenville tie it up there, right in front of the penalty box. Go! And the faceoff will come just outside the Messina Red Raiders zone. 5-19 remaining to play. Period one. Messina up by a 3-1 count. Off the draw. The puck comes to Quenville. Quenville feeds it over to Hurl, but Hurl, but to Loran. Loran breaking down the left wing into the zone. He's got his wings with him. Here comes Loran. Makes a good move, and it's poke checked away from him at the last minute, but he follows it. Takes it in the corner. Now to Hart. Hart trying to center it right in front as uh, Romeo was all by himself. Couldn't quite get it to him. Now breaking down the ice is Eric Gray. Gray fires it. DeRushi stops it with a pad, leaves it for Quenville. Had a little trouble with that. 
the puck around the boards. Romeo trying to do something with it. He's tied up, but does manage to get it ahead to Scott Loran. Loran's pass is intercepted by Gray. Gray in turn loses to Romeo, and it bounces into the zone of Borden. Scotty Loran makes a dandy move. He shoots, and the save is made uh, by the goaltender, Matt Barr. And I don't think that Loran did exactly what he wanted to with that puck. No, he got in a little bit too close first, and then he really didn't get too much wood on that shot. You know uh, it, something? It, had he gotten a better shot off, it would have gone through the legs, yep. but it was so slow that the goalie had a chance to get down on it. Yeah, as I think as he went to shoot, he, his head came up a little bit, and he didn't really get the good shot off, and it sort of just drifted in a little bit, and Matt Barr uh, come up with a save. He's had a number of good saves here in the first period. He's been a busy boy. Same thing happens uh, in the golf swing, right? <laughs> yeah. When the head goes up, the shot drubs off. I think that's Ricky. Ricky does that behind you. Does he? <laughs> Faceoff will be in the Borden zone, left side. <laughs> Peter Levine taking the draw for the Messina Red Raiders, and he has the puck. Trying to feed it through. Here's a backhand shot by Andy Thomas, and that one was deflected high over the cage, in fact, right off the ice surface. And uh, Lenny Landrio, the official, comes over for another puck, and we'll do it all over again. 428, that's what's left to play here, first period in this championship game, 1984 Messina Invitational Hockey Tournament, 3-1. to one. Our score, Raiders leading. Off the face off, the puck and a bouncing shot is swiped aside by Matt Barr. Kept in by Manley in the corner to Tile behind the net. Here's Todd Tile with the puck, looking to move it along. He's tied up, trying to fight for it, and he kicks the puck ahead to Thomas. Here's Thomas, feeding it back to the point. Sidden can't, actually it was between the two defensemen. They couldn't keep it in, and Manley has to circle back to his own blue line. Now he starts to move it out. Manley's going to take a shot from the blue line. It's wide, perhaps just dumping it in the corner. Thomas tries to chase it down. He's being bothered by Blackmer. Blackmer and Thomas, they look like they're going to tie it up. Now Tayo comes in to help out, and finally they do tie it up and we'll have a face-off with 3.51 left. 3-1 Messina, as uh, Sir Robert Borden scored first, but Messina came back with three straight. With three straight goals. Quinville getting the first goal, Levine getting a second goal, and then Tommy Sidden uh, got the third goal. Face-off in the uh, Sir Robert Borden end. 3.51 to go in the first period. Face-off left side. It's Butter Canarium's line out there now for the Messina Red Raiders, and the center is Bilk. We'll have to pick up the wings. It changes every time. Now the puck dumped down the length of the ice by Borden, and it's an icing call. And the two wings are, let's see here. Um, 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 um. Brett McNeil and... Uh, wow, they're, they're really mixing them up there. I guess so. <laughs> McNeil and Mackey, I think, are the, okay. are the wings out there right now. All right. And we don't know what three forwards we're going to see at any one time. Here is the shot by Ratty, a quick shot. And Ward tries to golf it on the save, but he can't. Back to the point, kept in as it's dumped by Hurlbut. Now the puck behind the net. And up along the boards, Quenville tries to keep it in. He does nicely. Puck slides free along the blue line and his poke check to center ice. That time uh, by Mackey. Now it's Canarian bringing it right back in the board and zone, circling behind the net. Looking, he's got Ratty in the slot, but goes back to the point to Hurlbut. Hurlbut tries to get the shot off. It's blocked, gets it back again, gets another shot off, and that's deflected wide. Now it's Ratty trying to dig it out of the corner, and the puck slides along the boards. Quinville will get it at the point. He just tries to feed it in the slot. The pass intercepted, and here comes Sir Robert Borden to center ice. Mackey with it, kicks it ahead, and it's picked up by Quinville, who bangs it off the boards to center ice. Canarium comes back for it. Here's Canarium at his own blue line, across the red line, across the blue line into the Borden zone, trying to split defense. Shot just wide. Nice shot by putter Canarium, just wide. Now coming back for Borden, Brett McNeil fires it to the Messina blue line, intercepted by Sidden, Sidden to Manley, and Manley just fires it. He was meant to get it in the zone, but it went up into the stands. And with 2.28 left, it remains 3-1 Messina. Canarium went in all alone that time as everybody else was changing. He had the puck, and it was uh, one on about four. five. Yeah, it was one on and one on about five out there. He took the shot out there. That just went wide, though. He got yeah. that shot off quickly. I think the goalie kind of nonchalanted it. And he did. <laughs> had it been on net, it would have been a little tough. Here's a face-off. DuPont back out there for Sir Robert Borden. Roscoe playing one of the points. Here's DuPont with a puck in his own zone, being forechecked by Loran. Gets by. Starts out right side, turning on the Jets. Nice move by DuPont. He can play. And he fires it ahead, and it goes to Casserly, who puts it into the Messina zone. Behind the net, Sidden. Sidden for Messina. Along the boards for Romeo. Romeo ahead to Loran. Loran trying to feed uh, Hart on the left wing. 
And on the defense, it's Burns, and he fires it up into the for Robert Borden bench, and we'll have a faceoff. 3-1, to one, Messina leads with 155 left in the first period. George DuPont will take the faceoff against Scott Loran. Faceoff just outside the Borden zone. Sir Robert Borden of Ottawa. Off the faceoff, here comes DuPont. He can dangle. DuPont tries to make a good move. Quenville makes a good play to take the man. He did. Play and the, the man. puck goes in the, in the corner. Now Romeo with it for Messina. He slices it off the boards, and ahead it goes to Hart. Hart knocked down. The puck comes free. Romeo has trouble with it. Casserly back into the Messina zone. Quenville again. Ahead it goes. Romeo trying to find a handle on it right in front of the blue line, and it's tied up along the boards uh, just outside the Messina zone. And with 124 in the period, we'll have uh, a faceoff. I think Sir Robert Borden is going to be tired there. Even at the end of the first period, uh, Jerry, it looks like they've, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, they're certainly more tired than the Messina players. Bilk will be centering uh, Blackmer and, uh, or, or rather, Ed Gray off the faceoff. The puck behind the net, big hurl butt with it. Feeding it ahead for Levine. Here comes Peter. He starts to move it out. He's got Tayo. Feeds him with a pass. And Tayo ran into Thomas. And they both went down as uh, the puck cleared back to center ice. Here's Quenville. Quenville feeding it over to Sidden. Sidden and Tayo comes back. We're going to have a penalty. And we're going to have our first penalty of the ball game. It looks like it's going to be hit from behind. I think Tommy Sidden's going off for him. We're seeing a call for a hit from behind. But I'll tell you, that wasn't half the hit as it went <laughs> when the two when Messina Tom, players when Thomas, collided. When Thomas and uh, uh, Todd Tile collided at the blue line, they just went right together. I'll tell you, they both went down. 3-1 to one our score, Messina leading, and they will be shorthanded for the remainder of this period, barring a goal, of course, by Sir Robert Borden. So DuPont's out there on the power play. Bilk will be playing one wing and probably Brett McNeil on the other wing. No, it's going to be uh, Ed Gray on the other wing. And at the points, it'll be Roscoe and Todd Burns, I believe. Or Cockle, rather. And Messina just fires it down the length of the ice. Cockle back to pick it up. He has the puck. He waits. Now he's going to start to move it ahead. It's uh, Manley, Hurlbut, Hart, and Canarium killing it for Messina. And Hurlbut just fires it down the length of the ice again. It goes right on. But before it gets to the goaltender, Roscoe picks it up. Roscoe trying to feed it ahead. Now he's going to take it himself at his own blue line. Now the headman pass goes to DuPont. Poke checked by Canarium. Good play. Canarium has it in turn poke checked away. It goes to Bilk. Here's Bilk trying to stick handle. And, well, I'll tell you, Big Mike uh, Hurlbut took him right out of the play. The puck goes back to center ice. Now it's picked up by Cockle. His shot gloved high by DeRushi as the period ends with 34 seconds remaining in the Messina penalty. The Messina Red Raiders leading by a score of 3-1. to one. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the AMPM Mini Mart game. The Messina Red Raiders are leading. Uh, Sir Robert Borden scored first, but uh, Messina came roaring back, and they seem to be firmly in control, Reg. They did, yeah, especially the last, except for the first five minutes, uh, the last ten minutes, right in control of the game. Off the faceoff, as we begin period number two, the puck comes back to Gord Cockle, who owns the uh, goal. He tries to feed it ahead. Tayo intercepts at his own blue line, backhands it, and it jumps right over Cockle's stick and back into his own zone as he has to go back for it. Matt Barr, the goaltender for Sir Robert Borden, guarding the goal to our left, the lobby goal, and it's Dave DeRushi in the other goal for Messina. Now here comes their big guy, George DuPont, and he loses his balance at the blue line. The puck taken away by Tayo. Tayo starts back. He's got Levine with him, feeds it ahead. Levine, Tayo, Tayo going down the slot. Levine feeds him. His shot just wide. And a good passing play between Levine and Tayo. Tayo fired it wide in the backhand. Now the puck dumped down the ice to center ice. It's Gray after it, taken away from him. And here comes Mike Curlbutt. Ahead to Levine. Levine to Tayo at the blue line. Tayo has it poke checked away. Levine following. Takes it in the slot area. His shot. The save. The rebound right in front. And a chance there for Messina's Andy Thomas, but he couldn't find the handle on it. And back comes Gray. Gray fakes the shot from the blue line. Gets by Sidden. He pokes it. And it goes just wide as uh, Gray made a pretty good turn of speed there and got in for the shot, but it wasn't a hard shot and it went wide. Now the puck 
almost stolen in front of the Messina net. Hurlbut picks it up, however, starts out. Headman goes to Peter Levine. Levine across the blue line. Long right wing pass for Thomas. That one's intercepted by Burns. He fires it back into the Messina zone as Borden is going to make a change. Peter Levine with a puck now. Feeding it ahead. He's got Canarium breaking. Canarium, his shot. Oh, he just missed. Just missed the out, oh. just missed the, in the, uh, the post. In fact, it might have just nicked that post, uh, uh, Jarrah. That was a nice pass. Levine uh, just over the blue line, and Canarium came out of the off the bench right up on the opposing uh, blue line. He hit Canarium. He went in uh, all alone, took the shot, and just, I think, grazed the outside of the uh, post. We're going to have a penalty after that, uh, that shot by Canarium in the corner as Todd Burns will pick up a slashing call, and we'll see the Messina power play for the first time this evening. And uh, Canary, wait a minute here. Yeah, it is going to be a power right. play. Canarium out there with Ratty and Ward. So uh, we're going to see a regular line, Manley and Sitton at the points. It comes back to Manley. Manley moving around with it, looking to pass. Tries to feed it through. It goes to Canarium. His shot, the save made. The puck high in the air. It goes to Ratty. Ratty in the faceoff circle, left side of the goaltender. Feeds it behind the net for Canarium. Canarium circling, circling. Now he takes it out left side, about halfway out faceoff circle. Canarium still has it, goes back to the point. Sidden to Manley. Manley winds his shot, goes off a leg, comes over to Sidden on the other side. He fires it in the corner, follows it. Sidden has a puck tied up, but it's stolen side of the net by Raddy. Raddy trying to get a stick on it. The puck slides back behind the net. Now it's Raddy with it. Raddy has it free behind the net. Trying to center it right in front. Sidden shot, save, and a big one, as Sidden may have been too close. He was, uh, he was in a little bit too close. You know, it, it come to a stick. He looked up, and he took his time, but he was really in too close. Uh, Matt Barr was right there, really, to cover all the angles. I don't think he had any chance at all. It would have been a, a heck of a shot. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you, you talk about he would have had to really thread a needle in order to get that in the uh, net. Matt Barr coming up with a big save. It'll be Brett McNeil centering now, trying to kill this one off against Peter Levine. It comes to to Hurlbut, Hurlbut to Sidden at the point. His shot, save made. Sidden gets a shot, and it came uh, waist high on Matt Barr, and he gloved it. And he gloved it, right. Those shots in the point, you got to keep them low in order to get those on rebounds, the right? i got to keep them close to the ice. You get them up waist high, and they're going to glove it. You're not going to get a rebound. Off the faceoff, Levine again against McNeil. Puck around behind the net. Levine poke checks it. It goes back to the point, Manley. Manley has it still, looking to pass for Tayo. Tayo at the 45, centering pass to Levine. Levine can't get the shot off. And it comes back to Manley at the point, to Sidden. Back to Manley, left point. He winds, fakes the shot, tries to pass to Levine. The pass goes off the boards. It's intercepted and fired down the ice by Bruce Mackey. Stop there by Derushi. Leaves for Manley, Scott Manley, the head man for Tommy Sidden. Sidden on the backhand, feeds it ahead for... Big Hurlbut. Hurlbut back to Manley at the point to Sitton on the right point. He takes it in wide. The shot score. And Tommy's got two. Nice shot by Tommy Sitton, but it was set up uh, by, uh, let's see, Manley put that puck over, but it was originally brought in by uh, Hurlbut. So that's got to be Sitton from Manley and Hurlbut. All three defensemen here uh, setting up that goal for Messina. The power play had elapsed. It was not a power play goal. Messina goes ahead by a 4-1 to count with 11.46 left to go in the second period. Championship game of the Messina Invitational. The consolation was won by Rome Free Academy as it ended up being, uh, what, 5-3 to three victory over... 5-3. Uh, to three. Um, The Vermont team. Now off the faceoff, the puck to center ice. Cockle picks it up, fires it right back in the Messina zone, and is picked up by O'Connell. O'Connell, who's out there, I believe, for the first time tonight. For the first time tonight. Okay, he loses the puck to Gray. Back to Cockle, and he backhands. It doesn't get all the way. It's, uh, it's picked up by Loran. Loran into the zone on the right side. Into the faceoff circle. Now takes it behind the net. Loran still got it. Trying to feed it. It goes back to the point. Quenville. Quenville trying to feed it through. Cockle intercepts and starts back. Cockle. Moving in, he's got DuPont with him. Instead, elects to shoot it from center ice. The save made by DeRushi. DuPont follows into the corner, taken out of the play by O'Connell. Quenville comes to help out, feeds ahead to Romeo. Romeo's head man passed too far for Loran. Cockle intercepts, tries to feed it. Loran blocks it and comes into the zone. Feeding the heart. Hard shot deflected right on the rebound. And it's knocked down in front and cleared back to the blue line and out to center ice. It's picked up by George DuPont. DuPont coming down the ice, makes a nice move, winds a shot, and he kind of misfired on it, gets it right back again in the 
faceoff circle left side of Durushi. Back to the point, a quick shot. Cockle kind of misfired as well. He winds again. His shot goes way wide. And a pretty good scoring opportunity for Messina, or for uh, Sir Robert Borden, but they misfired twice. Now it's DuPont again, being tied up by Manley. The puck along the boards. Finally, they do tie it up, and we'll have a face-off. That was the most offense that we've seen this to Robert Borden have here in quite a while. Uh, Jerry taking a, you know, some pretty good shots there. A couple just going a little bit, uh, a little bit wide. The face-off now. We'll be back in the Messina in Messina leads on a score of four to nothing with 10:15 to go in the second period. Face-off just inside the Messina zone, off the draw. Here comes John Ratty. He's got Ward with him. If he sees him, right in front, the shot. And Ward goes in the net. The puck goes in the net. But Ward kind of gloved it underneath him, and that's not going to be a goal. No, it's not going to be a goal. It was set up really nicely by uh, uh, Ratty going down that right side. He waited until uh, Ward uh, skating down the slot was right in position. But uh, I'll tell you, Ward went in the net. The puck did not go in the net. <laughs> Actually, Bard made the, made the save. The puck was there. Bard made the save, kept the puck out, Ward went in. That doesn't count, does it? No, no. <laughs> and when Ward went in, he went down, and he tried to get the, the puck under. I know, he did, didn't glove. he? Yeah, yeah. It was a good move, but it didn't, didn't work. Didn't work. The, uh, the official Lozon was right on top of it. He saw it. He says, uh-uh. Nice try, but uh, better luck next time. Messina leading it 4-1, to face off in the Sir Robert Borden zone. Canarium will take the draw. And I guess that's... Uh, well, I guess it's Bilk taking the face off. Off the draw, back into the Messina zone. Manley chasing it down in the corner. Manley gets by one. Slides it ahead. Messina trying to break out, but it's kept in by Bilk. Now it's Folk checked out to center ice. Bilk has to come back for it. He feeds it over on the other side to Burns. Burns, the head man, intercepted by Manley at the Messina blue line. Across the red line, his pass ahead to Ratty. Ratty breaking in on the right side. Ratty taken off his stick by Roscoe. Roscoe clears it around the boards, comes back to Manley, left point. He just fires it to an open wing. Canarium chasing it down to Ratty. Side of the net, backhand shot, save made on the glove by Barr. Pretty good scoring opportunity right there as Ratty got the puck in the side of the net. Took a good uh, good backhand, but uh, Matt Barr has made, made a number of good saves here in the uh, second period. It's Messina 4, Sir Robert Borden 1. Face off now in, a, in the Sir Robert Borden end. Borden defenders really aren't clearing the Messina forwards from around that net. No, no, they aren't. So Messina, as a result, having lots of chances. It'll be Todd Tayo against George DuPont. Off the face off. The puck comes free to McNeil. McNeil trying to move it along the boards. Now he backhands it ahead to DuPont. It goes off the back of the skate tile, trying to feed it through. Intercepted by Cockle. Cockle trying to clear it ahead. Levine steals in a face-off circle to Tayo. He can't get the shot off, and it comes back to DuPont. DuPont now is going to start out left side, try to get something going here for Borden. DuPont across the blue line makes a nice move. He makes another nice move across the Messina blue line, and he has uh, kind of lost his balance. The puck slides free in the faceoff circle. Back to pick it up is McNeil. Centering pass right in front. Nice save by DeRushi on the quick shot. That shot taken by, uh, I think it was Mackey. Nice quick shot, but a nice save by DeRushi. Now McNeil has it poke checked away from him. It goes back in the Borden zone. Trying to pick it up is Roscoe. He and Levine go together. The puck slides along the puck board. Andy Thomas comes to poke check it behind the net. Now Roscoe picks it up. Clears it. And it's going to go down the length of the ice for an icing call. And with 8.24 left to go in the second period, the score is Messina 4. Sir Robert Borden won. The Russia coming up with a big save, and that shot by Mackey. It came right out in front, uh, originally being brought in by DuPont. Came out in front. Ma Mackey took the shot, but Dave DeRussi coming up with a big save for Messina. Probably his first big save it, of the it, game. That, right, that's the first big save, right? Face off right side in the Borden zone. Out there is Loran for Messina. Off the face off, the puck picked up by Gray. Gray makes a nice move, starts down the right wing side, and what he did was he slid the puck a little bit too far ahead. Sidden took him out of the play. And, uh... Now the puck comes back to center ice as Messina tries to move Bobby Hart. Hart has it taken away from him. It comes back to Manley. Manley and uh, Romeo go together. The puck slides free, and here comes Romeo. On the off wing, leaves for Loran. His shot just wide. Kind of a stagger shot almost. He didn't get it off right away, but he got it off, and it was just wide. Now Borden fires the puck down in the Messina zone. Not far enough for icing as Manley comes back for it. About halfway through the hockey game now. Head man to Scotty Loran. Loran to Bob Hart. Hart across the blue line. Taken away from him by Cockle. And the puck free to center ice. Cockle off the boards. And he is checked by Manley. And we're going to have a penalty. 
and it's going to go against Borden as soon as they touch the puck. However, Sidden has it in his own zone. It's taken away from him. It's touched. Oh, wait a minute. You know, he waved. I thought it was a penalty, too. But What, uh, what did he call? I, was that I'm a delay offside? I'm size? not sure. It, it must have been. But I it, didn't it, think anybody... Well, I didn't think so either. I, it was enough. He, he raised his hand, and all of a sudden it went down. Okay. Can you wave off a penalty? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> it looked like know. he did. Yeah, it sure did look like he did. <laughs> anyway, it's Canarium with a puck, and he is taken heavily into the boards. Coming in to help out is Ratty. The puck comes around to Ward, right side of the goaltender. Centering pass, and it comes free. And clear to center ice by Sir Robert Borden. Doug Saunders. Saunders with a puck. Poke checked away from him by Quenville. Quenville clears it to center ice. Picked up there by DuPont. DuPont loses. Coming back for it is Burns. Burns in his own zone. On the backhand to center ice. Quenville picks it up there. Waits for his wings to get on side. And dumps it in the corner of the board and zone. Stopped by Matt Barr behind the net. Puck up to Hurlbut at the point. Hurlbut just... Steers it into the corner. Behind the net, it's Roscoe. Roscoe, the defenseman with a puck for Borden. Feeding it ahead. Here comes DuPont, who's been out on the ice quite a lot this hockey game. DuPont, nice pass through on the other side. Here's a chance for McNeil. He's upended on the play. And I think we're going to have a penalty on Potsdam and a tripping call. Or Potsdam on Messina and a tripping call. Yeah, righty, I guess, on a, on a trip. So, with 6.06 left to go in the second period, the score is 4-1. to one. Messina in the lead and in control, without a doubt. They have to kill one off here, though. And DuPont is right back out there, as he has seen a lot of ice time. <laughs> He's seen a lot of ice time for, for Sir Robert Borden. The uh, thing is, he, he has to almost do everything, you know, on his own. And uh, a number of there's been two and three people right on his back. Mackey will be one of the wingers. And the defenseman Conkle and Roscoe. The other wing is going to be McNeil. McNeil has the puck in the corner, trying to set up the power play here. Right side of Derushi. Mackey, right across the slot. Nobody can get a stick on it. Comes all the way back to Conkle at the point. He fires it in the corner. It's DuPont. DuPont trying to slide it through. We have another penalty called. And who's this one on? I think it's on Tommy Sidden. So Messina picks I... up the second penalty in this little flurry. You got a hook. Hooking call on Tom Sidden. Well, Messina's down two men now. That might be a little bit different in there. It's going to be a little tougher to try and kill it off. And who are we going to have out for the Red Raiders is uh, Mike Hurlbut comes out. And I imagine we're going to see Putter Canarium out there. Yeah, we do. And Scott Manley. Burns is out there. Along with Cockle, Bilk. And uh, DuPont, and I think McNeil is the other forward. Face off left side in the Messina zone, off the draw, comes back to the point. Over to Cockold, has a little trouble with it, and Canarium right there to bother him. Canarium trying to tie him up, now it comes back to the point again. Bilk at the right point, moving it along. Bilk fires it into the corner, DuPont. DuPont to Bilk. And he can't get the shot off, or he does, but it's not a good one. It goes way wide. Canarium tries to clear it, kept in by Cockle. Cockle with a puck into the corner now. Takes it behind the net, looking to move it around. We have a whistle and, what, a man in the crease? I think uh, referee says, yeah, there's a man in the, man in the crease. As, uh, Sir Robert Borden had set up, uh, let's see, Cockle, I think, had set up behind the net as he did so. Uh, one of his teammates went in the crease, so the faceoff will come. Outside, they still have a two-man advantage. There's 39 seconds to the penalty to Ratty and 58 seconds in the penalty to Tommy Sidden. 5.15 left to go. Second period, Messina up 4-1. to one. Peter Levine will take the face off against George DuPont. Levine out there with Manley and Hurlbut. Off the draw. Cockle has the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Trying to feed it through. He sees Gray but doesn't pass. Takes it in himself. The short side shot. Save is made by Matt or by Dave DeRushi. And uh, Messina finds the leverage and dumps it down the length of the ice. He was in awful deep when he took that shot. Yeah, he didn't have anything to no, shoot at. No, he didn't at, have anything really. to shoot at at all. 17, 15 seconds left in the, the first penalty. Breaking down is George DuPont on the left wing. DuPont looking to pass. He's got Gray right in front of the net. Tries to pass. A good play by Hurl, but to break it up. DuPont picks it up in the blue line. Right through the slot area. Tries to pass it. Levine steals. And one of the penalties is up. Ratty's back on the ice. Here comes Levine. Levine gets by one. We have a tripping call. Levine still has the puck. And now the goaltender takes it off his stick. 
So Peter Levine turned a bad situation into a good situation, getting a partial breakaway and uh, drawing a tripping penalty. Drawing a tripping penalty, but Ratty had come out of the uh, had come out of the penalty. He was all alone in the, in the uh, uh, slot, but uh, he did not get the puck. And uh, they see where Robert Borden will Bilk. Bilk will go off on a tripping call. Four minutes, 28 seconds remaining to play here. Period number two. Raiders leading it 4-1 to one in this championship game. So now it'll be 4-on-4 four four for the next 11 seconds. Then the Raiders will be going on a power play. Tayo out there with Levine, Hurlbut, Manley. Off the faceoff. The puck back to Hurlbut. Hurlbut loses it. Here's a chance for Borden and a breakaway for Gray. Trying to get back is Manley. Gray stops and Manley poke checks it away. Nice play by Scotty Manley to get back. He had to hustle. Now Hurlbut. Long head man pass goes to Levine. Levine to Sidden who's out of the box now. Messina on the power play. Sidden was waiting and he was ready to head right into that offensive zone. Now to Levine in the corner, right side of the goaltender, trying to feed it to Hurlbutt, and he kind of misfired. It goes all the way down the ice, and Manley comes back for it. 3.53 and counting, 54 seconds left on the board and penalty. Now Manley headmans it. It goes up to Levine by way of Sitton. Now Levine across the blue line. He's got Tile with him. Poke checked away. Manley follows. Keeps it in the corner. Feeding it to Tile halfway down. Check thrown there by Burns. Tile centering pass. And Levine just fired it wide. Good chance there. Back to Tile. Tile has it behind the net. Looking, looking. Takes it out from around in front. It's taken off his stick by Brett McNeil. And he tries to fire it down the ice. It goes into the Messina bench. And with 3.23 left, uh, 25 seconds left in the penalty, it's 4-1 Messina. Face off, we'll be back into Sir Robert uh, Borden end. You're listening to Raider Hockey on 1340 Radio, WMSA in Messina, New York. Messina leading in the championship game of their own tournament, 4-1 to one, with 3.23 left to play here in period number two. Loran off the faceoff, clears back to the point, and Quinville can't keep it in. Has to come back to center ice. Feeds it over to Manley. Manley being forechecked by Casserly. Now over to Quinville. Quinville across the blue line. Dumps it into the corner. Nobody there for Messina. Roscoe picks it up. Looking to find the hole. Now it's stolen away from him. Puck hits the side of the net. Comes around on the other side. Now it's free right in front. Levine centering pass to Tayo. He scores. And nice play by Peter Great. Levine. Good play by the but also a nice on Tile. He saw him. He got the puck in the slot. He saw he didn't have anything to shoot at. Took another stride with the backhand up into the net. Really, Ed. Nice play by Tile. Good setup by Levine. And uh, was that a power play goal? I'm not sure if the power play had expired uh, or not. Power play, I think, had, uh, yeah, it, it had it had, ex it had expired. There's not, not a power play goal. Off the faceoff, the puck back in the board and zone comes right on net, and Barr steers it into the corner. Almasina trying to uh, get something going here. They're ahead by a 5-1 to one count. The puck comes along the boards, back to the blue line, and out to center ice. Now here comes DuPont, one-on-one -on -one with O'Connell. DuPont trying to get by O'Connell. O'Connell keeps him wide, centering pass, comes all the way back to the point. Nobody could keep it in. Cockle, his shot goes high and wide. O'Connell did a good job to keep DuPont outside that time, Reg. He did. He just, just kept a little bit wide. Couldn't get the shot off. That's all you got to do. Now the puck along the sideboards. It squirts free into the corner, and Mike Quinville picks it up. Quinville starts out right side. The head man goes to Loran. Loran's back pass to Hart, and it's poke checked away from him and right back to the red line. DuPont after it. He gets it back in the zone of Messina. Quinville there to pick it up. 157 and counting. That's what's left to go here in period number two. The puck kept in at the point by Roscoe. Roscoe trying to feed it through. It goes to Blackmer. Blackmer and Roscoe right there along the blue line. Now Loran gets it to center ice. Blackmer feeds it to DuPont. DuPont's backhand pass goes into the corner. Quinville picks it up. Now he feeds it to Loran. Loran being forechecked by DuPont. DuPont ties it up. Blackmer helps out and uh, Quinville. And we'll have a face-off with a minute and a half left to play here. Period number two, and we're uh, at 5-1, to one, Messina. Right. That uh, last goal came uh, as the penalty had just elapsed. It was not a power play goal. And that uh, goal was tie-off from Levine. That was the fifth Messina goal. Face-off right side. Off the draw. Here's a backhander. Doesn't get through as Canarium blocks it. Now to DuPont. 
DuPont loses to Ratty. Ratty trying to get it out of the zone, but it's kept in there by Bilk. Here's Bilk, shot from the slot. Nice save made there by David DeRushy. Puck comes free in the corner. Hurlbut backhands it around the boards. After it is Tommy Sidden. Sidden, it's still in the Messina zone. Trying to get it out. It comes to center ice. Here comes Putter Canarium. Canarium's got Ward with him. Feeds it through to Ward a little bit behind him. And Tad couldn't find the handle. And right back comes Bilk. Here comes Bilk on the off wing. Into the zone. Bilk centering pass. Met for Gray. Gray has the puck. Can't get the shot up. He was shot off. He was too well covered. Right back comes Big Hurlbut. Hurlbut turning on the speed. Going wide on the right side. He is upended. We're going to have a tripping call there against Sir Robert Borden. No question about that one. I think Roscoe took, I think it was Roscoe that took uh, Hurlbut down as he come, came down on the uh, right wing. Uh, was taken down. I'm not sure it'll be a hooking or trip. Trip, I think. Uh, calling for tripping. So Messina again will go on the uh, power play with only 44 seconds to go. They're firmly in command with a 5-1 to one lead. Now, unless something drastic happens, look like, uh, looks like the Red Raiders may win their own championship I here. would believe so. DuPont out there to try to kill it off. He plays about 75-80% of the time for this Sir Robert Borden team, maybe even a little more than that. Peter Levine on the faceoff. Comes back to the point. Tommy Sidden dumps for Manley. A little bit too far for him. Tayo picks it up back to Manley. Manley loses it. Here's DuPont racing for it. He and Sidden in a foot race. And they both overskated. Sidden comes back for it. Tommy has the puck now. Long right wing pass for Hurlbut. Hurlbut feeding ahead for Levine. Levine kicks it into the zone. Gets by a check, or the puck does anyway, and it comes back to center ice. 18 seconds left to go second period. Now it's Sidden into the zone. Sidden about halfway in. Feeds it around the boards. It hits the back of the cage. Tile picks it up. Centering pass. Nobody home for Messina. DuPont picks it up. Brings it to center ice. Hurlbut there. Ahead it goes to Sidden. Sidden feeds back for Hurlbut as the period expires. And so we play two periods, and Messina has uh, extended their lead. They now lead it in this championship game by a 5-1 to one count. Tonight's broadcast being brought to you by the North Country Sports Center. Downtown Messina, the North Country's leading sports center. Capio knows Mobile East Orvis. And then we can talk about, you know, what it does for a community, uh, the, 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 you know, the revenue. Uh, there are a number of things. Uh, not that uh, the Central Junior Hockey League needs to put Messina on the map. It's it's there and, and for everybody to see. But uh, I, I think it, it enhances a, a product. And, uh, and I keep going back, Jerry, to the fact that uh, uh, my perception of, of the Messina fans and very knowledgeable hockey people, and I think they would... Uh, derive a great deal of pure entertainment because the bottom line is that our league is entertainment. That's what it's all about. Okay, what uh, now what kind of it's, it's junior hockey as you say. How does uh, how does say the rules compare with the, with high school hockey? Now they play 20 minute periods, yes, correct? Uh, we so play, it's longer. It's uh, three 20 minute periods. Uh, the, the, the icing rules uh, we play, you know, uh, a product that is extremely similar to the NHL. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we, we have in our league, uh, we in on masks, which we are the only junior A league in Canada that has masks, and uh, and we don't make any apologies for that. Uh -huh. Well, that's uh, I think that's good in a lot of ways, especially if these uh, some of these players are college bound, because they have to wear masks in college here in the states. That's right, and uh, it's a lot easier to get used to the mask when you're younger, as opposed to having having to start wearing it, uh, you know, when you're an older player. Well, you know, the, the youngsters come up through the minor hockey program; they know nothing but playing with a mask and then all of a sudden uh, when they're 19 or 16, 17 and they become major junior hockey players, we take the mask off them and it doesn't seem to me to make a great deal of sense. Okay, so uh, now let's talk a little bit about facilities. The team has to have the right kind of facilities. How would you rate this arena right here? Oh, I, I, I think this is uh, just an excellent facility. Uh, my uh, guesstimation is that probably you could get uh, 15, 1,700 people in here. Uh, it's got an excellent vantage point, a marvelous scoreboard. Uh, I've looked at the dressing rooms, and they look uh, very adequate. Uh, you know, th there's no question that we had some facilities in our league that uh, are bigger. Uh, Pembroke Lumber Kings, for example, play out of a, a rink, Jerry, that seats uh, 3,000 people and uh -huh. can put four in standing. Uh, that's the largest. We have the Nepean Sportsplex, which is a multi-million dollar complex, but they're not all that way, and, and this would compare very favorably. This is a very pleasant place to watch a hockey game. Oh, I have to agree with that, uh, especially from the vantage point of broadcasting. This is a great press box, but uh, 
So the facilities are good here in Messina. You think that uh, there's enough people to draw from for good crowds then? No, no question. Uh, you know, you, you like to fill the rink for every home game, but you have to be realistic about that too. But, uh, uh, you know, there, there, is a, there is a magic number, and that, of course, varies with the community. Uh, I, I think the, 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 the concept that we would like to convey to uh, Jim and, and his people would be that uh, it's terribly important to try and get the entire community involved, get the corporate identification with people, uh, cor corporations within the city, and of course it's terribly important to get identified with the minor hockey people because they form the base uh -huh. for the pyramid, and, uh, and really Junior A hockey is at the moving up towards the apex of the pyramid. I guess the NHL sits right at the top. So uh, if this team were to come to Messina, it'd be kind of under the auspices of the minor hockey program here. Well, uh, you know, that would be, a, the, uh, that. my suggestion is that they work very closely uh -huh. with minor hockey, and we find that in our uh, teams, that the teams that uh, stay very close to the minor concept and have a working arrangement and affiliation with them uh, tend year in and year out to be the better hockey teams. How much of an investment is it for, for Messina to, say, uh, get, a, get a franchise? Well, uh, it's $9,000 to uh, become a franchise holder and uh, 2,000 of that, uh, 1,000 of it becomes, uh, is refundable at the end of the first year of operation and the other remains in as a performance bond. But uh, initially it's an initial uh, outlay of $9,000. So that would have to be raised uh, somehow. And uh, now, are these teams considered a corporation in their own right? Uh, no, uh, they, they vary. Some of the teams have incorporated. Others of them are uh, nonprofit. For example, the Brockville Braves is a uh, nonprofit hockey operation. Uh, you know, to be very candid about it, anybody who comes into junior hockey thinking that it's an opportunity to make money is really uh, fooling themselves. Uh -huh. uh, what you try to do in junior hockey is not lose money. And Therein is the difference. So uh, you try to break even, and what you're doing it is, is is for the community. Exactly. It's it's uh, to look after the boys. I mean, I think that uh, so many uh, so many young hockey players from our league um, I, uh, derive the opportunities of of going to American schools on scholarships, and uh, and that's just a tremendous uh, situation for them. It's a chance for the boys to get on and play a better brand of hockey and to take them where their talents will allow them, to let them become all they're capable of being. So uh, how soon, if, if Messina can get behind this, if the community can get behind this, what are we talking about, timetable? Any idea? Well, we're certainly, uh, I've been uh, talking with uh, Jim and his uh, people for the last two or three months, and uh, we're hoping to make it all fly for uh, next season. For next season. So it would be rather quickly. Now, tell me, what, uh, what is the length of your season? Well, we start, uh, the teams uh, start camp uh, right after the Labor Day weekend. They play a series of interleague exhibition games to sort of find their legs and, uh, and decide who's going to be on the team. Then the schedule starts the last weekend in September, and it goes through until the last weekend in February. The month of March uh, is for our league playoffs, semifinals and finals, and then we move into the Centennial Cup playdowns, which is emblematic of Junior A hockey in Canada, and we have to be ready as a league with our representative on the 1st of April. So it's a long season, it's a lot of hockey, but uh, it gives the, uh, the kids playing a lot of game time and game experience, and that's so important. Yes, and, but keeping in mind too, and I think the point has to be made, uh, Jerry, uh, that, that the league is essentially a weekend league with a little bit of uh, midweek games, but basically we play triple headers on Friday and Sunday. Of course, you have to play some games on Tuesday and some on Thursday, mm -hmm. but uh, that's a limited number. So it is very, very possible, and this is an important concept, that a boy can play in our league and still attend to his studies, and that's very important because there's no point in being a talented hockey player on the ice if you don't have the marks in school to, 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 to get the scholarship. Well, that said, you certainly won't get into college, uh, if you don't, especially uh, the, college, the local colleges in our area. But, it, you know, it sounds like, like a good idea, and uh, I think that uh, that's the kind of thing that the people in this community could get behind. Well, uh, we're, well there's no question about it. Uh, this is a hockey town, and uh, I, I've been very impressed with the facilities, with the people, uh, the knowledge of the game, and uh, uh, you just seem to ooze hockey, and uh, it would be a, a distinct pleasure and honor for the Central Junior Hockey League to have a franchise in Messina. 
Anything to add? Not at all, except that we're enjoying a, a, a hockey game, as you said at the beginning. Uh, I think uh, Sir Robert Borden just uh, uh, short a few horses, and I've been very impressed with the discipline of this uh, Messina High School hockey team. I like the way the coach has them sitting on the bench. Uh, when they're on the ice, they play good positional hockey, and uh, I don't want to single out any hockey players, but uh, obviously there have been two or three that have caught my eye in the white sweaters. <laughs> Okay, Art, thank you very much, and uh, we certainly hope to be seeing you again soon. I sure hope so. Thanks a lot now. Thank, thank you, Jerry. Art Nielsen, and uh, talking about the possibility of uh, perhaps getting junior hockey in Messina. He's president of the Central Junior Hockey League, and uh, it all has to do with, uh, with the Messina Minor Hockey Association. They have the people that are talking about it right now. I have a card in front of me, and I see... Uh, the name of Reginald Cross on it, which means that you're part of that Junior Hockey Association. Uh, right. So people, have been. If, if they want to, uh, want to know further information on that, actually the man who seems to be behind is Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly is our general manager and uh, a lot of other names too. Jim does most of the uh, work with our organization. Of course, we've really been so-called in business here for, well, almost 10 years since the rink has been here. We've had, you know, a junior hockey team, but it, it primarily the, the team was organized at the end of the season to give, you know, uh, the area boys just more hockey at the uh, you know for another month but now we're thinking of expanding a little bit uh-huh you know and i know jim uh, jim told me before the game that he wants to hear from the people that, that's right we want to know if they want it so uh contact jim kelly a reg cross or anybody else in the minor hockey association and let them know what you think we're back and going here in the third period messina firmly in command of this hockey game but here comes george dupont one on three He's going to get it. No, he doesn't get a shot off. It's kind of slides right on. Derushi kicks it into the corner. I don't know if you'd call it a shot or not, but here comes Hurlbut. Ahead to Levine. Levine's got Tayo with him. Levine taking it into the corner, feeding it back to Sidden at the point. Sidden to Hurlbut. Hurlbut circling. Now back out to Tayo. Tayo centering right in front, and the goalie got a stick on it, deflected the pass that was meant for Hurlbut. Messina on the power play as we start this third period for another two seconds. DuPont steals the puck. He goes down one on two, and he gets <laughs> leveled by Tommy Sidden. Tommy Sidden sort of met him just outside the blue line. They both went down. Wow. Good uh, check. Quite a, quite a collision. I think you, you can just hear that one. You yeah. didn't have to see it. You heard it. I could feel it. <laughs> you could feel it, Jerry. Hurlbut. Now passing ahead to Tyo. Here comes Tyo breaking in on the left wing. Gets by his man. The backhand just wide. I think that went off the goaltender, Matt Barr. I think he got a piece of it. Gwenville now has it at center ice. We're in the third period. Messina leading at 5-1 to one in this championship game. Uh, the puck back in the Messina zone. Quinville feeding it around the boards. Gets it right back again. Starts out right side of the goaltender. His long head man for putter Canarium. Canarium across the blue line on the off wing. Here comes putter into the corner. He stops looking to pass back to Quenville at the point. He fakes the shot. Goes over to O'Connell. His shot through a screen. The save made. The puck sitting in front. It's just wide. Has Canarium got a shot? I was just about to say it's in the net. I thought it was. He shot it just wide. Back to Quenville at the point. His shot deflected right in front. The shot, the score. And that is Ward getting the goal. Uh, Canarium got robbed right, right in the, about 10 seconds before, and the uh, puck came back to the point. Uh, O'Connell really took a shot. The save was uh, made. The rebound came, came out, and uh, Todd Ward was right there, Tad Ward, and uh, he made no mistake putting it behind Matt Barr. That's the sixth goal of the night for Messina. So the Raiders leading it 6-1 to one in the championship, and it uh, looks like they're just going to have to play out the string now as uh, Messina firmly in control here in the third period. <clears throat> Loran will take the face off against DuPont off the draw. The puck comes to Casserly. He can't control it. Goes back to the Borden blue line. Right back. Here's DuPont. Into the zone. Gets by one. He's partially knocked down. Gets up again. Trying to fight for it. Get it away from Romeo. Comes free at the point, And uh, Cockle can't keep it in. And it comes out to center ice. Loran after it there. Taken off his stick by Casserly. The puck free at center ice. Now Gray backhands it back into the Messina zone. Around the boards it goes, picked up by Tommy Sidden. <clears throat> Sidden with it. Starting to move it out. Actually, Reg, it's been a rather fast game. It really, it's it, it, it flown by. How many there. penalties? No, not really. It's Burns with it. Clears it ahead. And down the ice, it's DuPont again. DuPont in on the right side. His shot, save made by DeRushi. The puck comes free to Loran. He starts back one on two. Loran now waiting as Romeo comes with him. Romeo 
and Loran. Loran tries to stick handle through. The puck goes off his stick into the corner. He tries to chase it down. Gray ties him up. He kicks the puck aside. It comes to Romeo behind the net. Romeo center right in front to Levine. His shot to save. Levine gets it back again. Another shot to save. <laughs> and falling on top of it is Matt Barr. Two, two saves for uh, Barr. As Levine was in front, he took one shot. The save was made. It came back out to him. He took the second shot. And the, again, Matt Barr made the... Uh, Made the save, so forcing the face off, it'll be in the to Robert Borden end. Messina le leads by a score of six to one. We've got 11:56 to go in the third period in the game. Face off will be in the Borden zone, right side, and uh, it will be Tayo out there taking the draw. Goes back to Hurlbut. He just feeds it in the corner. Racing for it is Tayo. Kyle gets by a man, still has it in the corner, looking to pass to somebody, as always. Centering it right in front, it goes off a leg and wide, and it's picked up by Saunders, who feeds it back into the Messina zone. Now a foot race between Blackmer and Quenville. Blackmer poke checks it by Quenville, and Tayo takes him right out of the play, and I think we're going to have a charging call on Todd Tayo. Well, he, he took him into the boards. Uh, maybe a little bit too hard. I... He just say, sort of came coasting, and I think he didn't really, if he wanted to really charge him, I think he could have been a lot, he would have hit him a lot harder than that. But anyway, Todd uh, Tyle will go off a minute and a half for charging. Sir Robert Borden will have the power play, face off in the Messina zone. I guess when you're ahead 6-1 to one late, you don't worry too much about no. penalties. Off the face off, Hurlbut, and he just slides it to center ice. Now it goes up into the crowd off the stick uh, of Todd Burns. And we'll face it off again at the center ice area. I think as I mentioned, Eddie Underwood is not dressed tonight. He thought, uh, Stan Moore thought he might be dressed, but he's on the bench, but not dressed for the game. And let's see, uh, Messina's next game is here against Lake Placid on Wednesday, Wednesday right? night, right. I we, we may see him Underwood, for that one. I'm pretty sure Underwood will be dressed for that game. Now the puck back to the point, kept in there. As uh, Borden trying to get something going on this power play, Roscoe with it at the blue line. Roscoe still has it. Now feeds it over on the other side. It comes to Burns. Burns trying to go into the corner. A hard check thrown there by Hurl, but he takes the puck away and dumps it down the ice. That was, uh, he sort of lifted Burns right off the ice of yeah, that check. <laughs> yeah. Back pick it up is Burns, showing no ill effects, apparently. Oh, no. Now the puck stolen by Canarium. And Hart. Hart can't come up with it. It's uh, dumped into the corner by the goaltender. Now they move it along the boards, back to center ice. Tommy Sidden with it for Messina. He finds the leverage with 30 seconds left in the penalty. It's back in the Sir Robert Borden zone. Ten and a half left to go here in the third period. Now the puck out to center ice. It comes to Manley. Manley dipsy doodling, wasting time with the puck. Now he goes back to Sidden. Sidden has a little trouble with it, but he manages to get it around on the other side to Manley. Manley ahead to Levine. Levine to Manley. Manley poke checked away from him by none other than Mr. George DuPont. DuPont has the puck in the corner. Doing a little stick handling with it. Now takes it into the face-off circle. He's still looking. Trying to slide through right in front. And that should have been a goal, but a little bit of a misfire by Roscoe. Now the puck free behind the net. As DuPont waited until he had a man he, open. He, he did. He's a good hockey player. He, uh, he plays, uh, I just found out, with a junior A team up in Ottawa. And, oh, uh, okay, he'd, he'd be playing that tier two. Yeah, tier two. Okay, Nielsen, they, Art Nielsen told me that he's not oh. sure his coach knows he's playing here. <laughs> <laughs> he does go to this school, Sir Robert Borden, but I guess his coach, I can't remember the team he plays with, but his coach isn't real happy about him playing with another team. But he is, and he's a good player. Centering oh. pass right in front. Here's another chance and a nice save, as it was Roscoe again with a shot and a good pad save made by David DeRushi. Now the puck's still in the Messina zone. And DuPont has a centering pass right in front. And this time, it's Brett McNeil who can't really get the shot off. He tries to center it. And Tayo intercepts, comes back to the point. And Roscoe trying to feed it in the slot. Intercepted by Tommy Sidden. And he backhands it down the length of the ice. We're down to nine minutes. And uh, the penalty is up. Now Messina has the puck right in front. And I'll tell you something. Roscoe almost scored on his old, own goaltender. He deflected that pass right into the pads of uh, Matt Barr. Now Quenville with a puck, he loses it, but helping out is Mike Auer, and if I'm not mistaken, is this his first shift? First shift out, right. Okay. Auer and O'Connell out on defense for Messina. Fires it along the boards, ahead it goes to Loran. Loran's got Joe Puente with him, Puente seeing his first action, now he dumps it back to center ice, Auer comes up with it. 
Power to O'Connell, gets by him. Gray after it. O'Connell poke checks it back to the center ice area. Picked up by Cockle. He fires it right on from center ice. Derushi makes that save, leaves the puck for Hour. Hour off the boards. Head to Joe Puente. Puente trying to feed it ahead. It's intercepted. Comes back to the blue line. It's O'Connell. Hour poke checks it. That's Bobby Hart. Hart loses it. Cockle fires it right back into the Messina zone. It's Hour back for it. Hour, his long headman pass, intercepted by Burns. At the blue line is Sir Robert Borden. It's cleared back to center ice. Loran there. And he's waiting for his wing to go on side, but apparently he took it across, and offsides will be the call. About close. halfway through the period. That was close. I don't know. It, just, it might have just gone inside the blue line. Uh, Loran was waiting for his man to get back on, on side, but uh, just over the blue line. Face off just outside is a Robert Orden, uh, Borden blue line. George Dupont should put his name on tape. <laughs> and he takes the face off. And the puck back into the Messina zone. We have another final to report, and we'll do that in just a moment, as soon as we have a break in the action here. Not a big surprise, I guess. Borden with the puck now as they take it into the zone. Nice move by Saunders. He gets by one, takes it in the corner, looking to pass it. Behind the net, the wraparound attempt, and the save made by Derushi. Alexandria Bay defeated St. Lawrence Central this afternoon, 9-1. to one. Mm. The Bay's flying. Uh, I was going to say, I think they're getting stronger as time goes by. Uh... Gary, it looks like uh, I think their their only competition in that B is going to be Salmon River. Salmon has given them a tough time. Yeah, they uh, lost by a goal all season long. I think just by a goal. Mm -hmm. Right. Salmon might be able to get a little bit of trouble. Otherwise, uh, they're in there. Well, you know, it, it's funny that uh, you know you play the whole season, but it all comes down to that one game. That playoff game. For That's right. right. So uh, you know, the the season determines where you are as uh, you know home ice, what your seating is. But it all comes down to a game right. in the playoffs. And that playoff game will be held here in Messina Arena, the B playoff also. That's right. I think I might have to check that I, one out. I think so. Now the puck into the Messina zone. Hurlbut takes his man out of the play. Canarium feeds it ahead. And here comes Tad Ward on the left wing. His shot from center ice. The stick save made by Matt Barr. 646 and counting. That's what's left to play in this hockey game. We have a whistle. We're going to have a penalty call. It's going to be a slashing. And it's going to go against Sir Robert Borden, which will give Messina the power play. And uh, let's see who that's going to be. Doug Saunders, who gets the gate. So the scores we have, Potsdam edged OFA this afternoon, 5-4. Alexandria Bay defeated St. Lawrence Central 9-1. And a uh, game that was played last night, St. John's and Plattsburgh beat Malone 8-5. to Coming up tonight, Salmon River at Norwood Norfolk and Lake Placid at Canton. Those are the two games scheduled for tonight. And uh, Salmon shouldn't have any problem with Norwood Norfolk, but Norwood with a big win over Plattsburgh last night, so I imagine they're flying high. As for the Lake Placid-Canton game, I don't know. Might have to call that one a toss-up. Doesn't matter who wins, but it's a toss-up. Levine centering pass right in front. Tommy Sidden looking for the deflection. He fired it wide. He had his stick at a little bit of an angle that time. If he had his stick just uh, you know hooked in a little bit, he could deflect it in. But he had his stick at an angle and just deflected uh, wide. Nice, nice setup in front of the net. 6:27 left to play. Messina up six to one. Minute 14 left to go on the Borden penalty. Glenville feeding it in the zone. Now ahead to Sidden. Sidden trying to slide it through. It goes to Tayo, right side of the goaltender, deep. Todd Tayo now moves it into the faceoff circle. Back to Quenville at the point. Quenville over to Manley. Manley back to Levine in the right so faceoff circle. Shot by Tayo off the stick of Levine. And uh, now Sidden trying to steer it out of the corner. It comes free to Todd Tayo. Tayo into the faceoff circle. Back to the point. Manley winds. Fakes a shot. Goes to Tayo. Right side of the goaltender. Poke checked away from him by Burns. Burns can't. Yes, he does clear it as it jumped over Manley's stick. Racing for it, but not quite getting to it is Mackey as Quinville beats him to the puck. Now Quinville loses. Manley follows up. Starts down the right wing side. Now crosses. Ahead to Levine. To Tayo. Tayo takes it in the zone on the left side. Tayo. Trying to feed it through to Tommy Sidden, who is coming in on that right wing side. It got just by him. Sidden in the corner trying to dig it out. He's taken out of the play. The puck comes free, picked up by Levine. 14 seconds and counting in the penalty. Peter Levine with the puck now. 
Takes it about halfway out. Left side of the goaltender. Waiting, waiting. Bangs it behind the net. Hits the back of the cage. And it's picked up by Tayo. Tayo trying to center it. That was met for Levine. Levine, left side of the net. The penalty is up. The puck comes free to Tayo to Levine in front. He shoots. Nice save made by the goaltender, Matt Barr. Point blank and a cross that check was point blank. is called. A little give and go. Levine uh, shot the puck uh, back to Tayo. He broke for the net. Tayo gave it back to him. He got the shot off, and uh, but uh, Matt Barr had the uh, had the uh, net covered. No goal there. It's Messina six. Sir Robert Borden one with 5:07 to go in the third period. The faceoff is still in the Sir Robert Borden end. Another penalty on Borden. It's uh, Burns getting called for a cross check. That happened right in front of the net as he was trying to clear the Messina players out from in front. He cross checked. So Borden has to try and kill another one off. <clears throat> off the faceoff, the puck goes into the stands. And that makes uh, a face-off again in the Borden zone right side. 6-1, to one, Messina leading in this championship game. And they will win the championship of their own tournament. Face-off will be right side. Off the draw. Puck off the boards. Ratty keeps it in at the point. Now starts to move it along the boards. DuPont takes it away, can't get it out. Hour kind of misfired on it. And O'Connell comes back for it. O'Connell ahead to Tad Ward. Ward into the zone, feeding it across. And did it go out? It did. As Raddy had a little trouble controlling it. He had a little trouble controlling it. It was right on the blue line, Jerry, and he had a little trouble controlling it. It just barely went, out, went outside the... Uh, Whistled for being uh, offside, face-off just outside to Sir Robert Borden. Blue line, Messina still on the power play. DuPont will take the draw against Canarium. Off the face-off, it comes to Cockle, who clears it to center ice. So Connell over to Hour. Hour feeding it ahead. It goes to Tad Ward to Canarium. Canarium centers and just wide on the shot by Ratty. Nice setup by putter Canarium. Puck back to O'Connell. Now to Ward. Ward to Ratty trying to wrap around play. The puck sitting side of the net. Where is it? It's in front. Nice poke check by the goalie. Broke that play up as Barr made a good play. And now Borden dumps the puck down the length of the ice. You're listening to 1340 Radio, WMSA, Messina, New York. O'Connell with a puck now, trying to move it along the sideboards in his own zone. He loses it, DuPont. DuPont and Canarium go together in the corner. And the puck comes free to Ward. Ward runs into a check, leaves the puck for Ratty, and Ratty's going down one-on-one. -on -one. Here comes John Ratty. Puck slid away from him. Nice play there by Roscoe. Now Ratty trying to follow it into the corner. He and Roscoe move it along the boards together. Roscoe trying to dump it back. It goes to DuPont. DuPont moving around, wasting time. The penalty is up. DuPont waits for his man to come out of the box. Now moves it ahead. It goes to McNeil on the left wing. He takes it in the Messina zone. McNeil right along the blue line. The backhand pass intercepted. And here comes Mike Hour back for the Raiders. Hour breaking down the right wing side. And Cockle takes him out of the play. The puck slides free. Levine picks it up. Gets by a check. Here's Peter Levine with it behind the net. He still has it with 3.14 left to Puente. Puente can't keep it in at the point. He has to feed it back to Mike Hurlbut. Hurlbut over for Quenville. Quenville loses it. Here's a chance for Bilk right in front. And Derushi gets uh, down and blocks a shot if it was a shot. And now the puck cleared to center ice by Hurlbut. Down to 255 and counting as the puck is fired up into the Messina bench. And uh, our score remains 6-1, to one, Messina. Again, repeating the scores we have from today. Potsdam beat OFA 5-4. It was Alexandria Bay over St. Lawrence Central by a 9-1 count. Last night, it was St. John's of Plattsburgh beating uh, Malone by a score of 8-5. It was originally scheduled for today. A couple of games on the board for tonight. Salmon River at Norwood Norfolk. Lake Placid at Canton. Off the faceoff. So Robert Borden's Burns, who is back from his penalty uh, rest, takes it into the zone. We have a whistle, and we're going to have another penalty. Got a tripping call. Let's see. Mike Hurlbut, is it? Yep. yep. Mike Hurlbut going off. So Hurlbut will get the gate for tripping. So now Sir Robert Borden will be on the power play. A little bit too late for them to uh, get back into the hockey game, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind scoring another goal. I think they'd like to get another goal, make it a little bit more respectable anyway. <clears throat> and they send George DuPont out there. Who else? Yeah, that's right. DuPont's got Casserly on one side with him. 
and will pick up the other forward. That's Gray. Now off the faceoff, the puck is Bobby Hart into the zone. Here's Hart in front. He shoots. Fired it just wide. Now he tries to slide it free in front, and Gray picks it up. And we have a bit of a, a fracas going behind the net. Is uh, wow. Hart having a, a little heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Todd Burns? <laughs> they, they both went down a little uh, bit of a huddle. I'll tell you, Hart put a real burst of speed on, and he almost scored on that uh, breakaway. So the faceoff will move outside the Sir Robert Borden zone as they have a minute 17 left in their power play 229 left in the hockey game Messina ahead 6 to 1 consolation game went to Rome Free Academy uh, 5 to 3 victors over the Vermont team Bellows Free Academy that's Dupont in the corner Messina zone right side of the goaltender feeds it back to the point it goes to Cockle Cockle trying to slide it through and Durushi falls on it well, we've got only 2.13 to go, and uh, Messina, of course, will win uh, their uh, first and only Invitational Tournament uh, this year, the score being 6-1 to one, uh, right now. <clears throat> one thing we look forward to at the end of the will be an all-tournament team pick, Jerry, at the end of the game. Okay. I imagine it's all picked by now. Here's a shot from the faceoff. The rebound hits the side of the net as uh, Durushi made the initial save. And behind the net, it's Manley with a puck for Messina. Stick handling, takes it right to the blue line, gets by a couple. Now he tries to go by Dupont, he does. Manley takes it into the corner. 40 seconds left in the Messina penalty, under two minutes left in the game. Now the puck back to the point. It comes outside, Loran just wasting time. Now he finds the hole and dumps it back into the Sir Robert Borden zone. Now here comes Borden, trying to move it. That, I assume, has got to be DuPont. Yeah, it is. Here comes DuPont across the blue line, looking to pass it through. His pass intercepted by Hart. Hart comes around behind the net, off the boards, follows it himself, takes it to center ice. Eight seconds left in the penalty, feeding to Loran, to Hart, to Loran. Here's Loran back to Hart. They pass it, they shoot, and he fired it wide. Now Cockle picks up the puck again, starts back. Across the red line, poke checked away from him at the blue line. Here's Loran. We're down to a minute left to play in the hockey game. Loran ahead to Hurlbut. Hurlbut loses to Dupont at the Sir Robert Borden blue line. Dupont comes back. It goes off a skate. The puck comes free. It's picked up by Hurlbut. 50 seconds left to go in the, in the hockey game. Here comes Levine now trying to stick handle. Fat pass passes right in front to Andy Thomas. Thomas fired it wide. Now Thomas trying to come up with it. He's knocked down. Levine throws a check. The puck comes free. Thomas, Thomas centering right in front of Levine. It's a bouncing puck. He couldn't get a stick on it. It comes free to center ice. And uh, Borden controls it. Here's a shot from center ice by Burns. That's gloved by DeRushi. He leaves it for O'Connell. We're down to 23 seconds and counting. Puck around the boards. Thomas across the blue line. Whistle offsides. I think Tyler was just uh, on that right wing. Just a little bit offside. Uh, play has pretty much slowed down here with only 14 seconds to go. And Messina, of course, will win their tournament at least by a score of 6-1 to one right now. 14 seconds left. Off the draw. There's O'Connell to Levine. Across the blue line. 5-4, and we count it down. There's the buzzer. The ball game is over. And the Messina Red Raiders have won their own tournament, beating Sir Robert Borden in the championship game by a score of 6-1. to one. We might uh, tell you the attendance last night, a total of 554. Tonight, 530. The total for the tournament, 1,084. Uh, not too bad. Not I, too bad. I looked for a little, a little bit more last night. He's tired out there tonight. He was out there probably 75% of the time. I think we're going to have our all-tournament team announcements here as John Murray, principal at Messina High School, is out there on the ice with a microphone. Unfortunately, can't really hear what he's saying. Well. I think you have an idea who they are. Is I that a, is that <laughs> the case, Reg? I got a pretty good idea who they are. Okay, there's one. That's one That's, of the all-tournament well, defensemen. I think, no, this is just the, uh, oh. uh, this is just the runner-up trophy to Sir Robert Borden uh, being uh, taken by, uh, let's see, that's their, uh, Gord that's their uh, captain, Cockle, who plays uh, who played defense for Sir Robert Borden. I think they're going to give the trophies for the, uh, the uh, runner-up and the, uh, the championship team first, and then the all-tournament team will be uh, awarded uh, right afterwards. 
And Peter Levine, the Messina captain, and his assistants, Tommy Sidden and Mike Hurlbut and Eddie Underwood, come over to uh, get the, uh, the trophy. And now there are pictures being taken. And so Messina wins their tournament, the Messina Invitational. Uh, congratulations to the Red Raiders. They played well, especially they last did. night, I thought they uh, against them. Okay. Yeah. So Toby Ducalon is the... Uh, well, there's no doubt the about board. that. He, no. He really, he was an outstanding player for Bellows Academy, both last night and Messina. He's a super hockey player. You're going to hear something from him uh, in the future. He's the guy that all the scouts were here to see, right. one of them. Right, they were. I tell you, I don't think he disappointed him either, Jerry. He played well at both games. Okay, who else do we have? George Dupont? Uh, George Dupont. No question. He, he's one of the forwards. He, he, he played well last night against uh, Rome Academy. Really, he played well tonight against Messina. He was on the ice at least 75% of the time. He really played well for, uh, for Sir Robert Borden. He just didn't have much help out there no, offensively, no. Jerry. <laughs> So George Dupont is one of the forwards. Toby Ducalon is uh, another forward. And we have uh, Mike Quenville. Mike Quenville, one of the defensemen. Okay. And who is the other defenseman? Tommy, Tommy Sidden. Sidden. No question about yeah, that. Tommy Sidden mind. had a real good night tonight. He got uh, two goals, played a real, I thought, a real strong game uh, for Messina on, uh, on defense. So there's the two defensemen, and uh, the goal, goal You've got to go with the winning goalie. Uh, I tell you, he made some pretty good saves here uh, uh, tonight uh, in in the net for uh, for Messina. Not too big, uh, not too many saves, but uh, some good saves. Most valuable player now being announced. Yeah. No question about that in my oh, yeah. mind. He's, he's a real strong hockey player out there. You know, you, you don't see him knock off the puck very often, Jerry. He's so strong, he can sort of bull his way through. And he just set up a number of, uh, you know, goals. What uh, Tonight, uh, he had a couple, uh, let's see, what do you have? He had two assists uh, uh, last night in the game against uh, uh, the Bellows Academy. And then tonight, uh, he picked up a goal, I think, in a couple of assists uh, in tonight's game. Really, just a strong hockey player. Well, you know, Reg, game in and game out this year, Messina's main man up there in that forward line has been Todd Tayo overall. So. Oh, Peter oh. Levine scores a lot right. of goals, but nine times out of ten, those goals are set up by Todd Tayo. They, they, they sure are. Oh, and he's really, really real strong. He, he's the strength up front uh, for Messina. You know, I, I know you probably didn't hear when I was interviewing Alex Smart, uh, the King Scout, last night. Oh. But he was very impressed with Todd Tyo, and he says...